Hello everybody. Um, just wanted to do a quick video. I'm going to try to keep it short of a little bit of my experience on the TV show Knife for Death. Um, it is actually, what is it? Today is the 25th of August. So I filmed my episode on the 20th of August, which was Monday. Today's Saturday. So it's been about five days since I filmed that. Um, Got home on Tuesday, um, did, uh, got picked up at the airport, got home. Um, when I got home, unpacked my knife. They let me take my knife uh, back with me after the episode, after we shot it that night. Um, I know some of the other guys, um, they mailed theirs back, but I put mine in my uh, um, check baggage at the airport. Um, but when I got home, I didn't do anything with the knife. I threw a little bit of oil on it, and so I thought I would just, uh, I think I've seen Josh Weston do this, um, almost like a what happened after after the episode, and um, doing a quick what's the knife look like, what what damage was there. So, um, anyways, on the show, I don't know how much the on the show they'll um, actually show the sheath, but here's the sheath. Um, if anybody kind of wants to see, I made it myself too. Uh, Kydex two tone. Um, so, like I said, there was a little bit of oil, a little bit of oil on it, um, but other than that, I haven't touched it. So, don't think there's any, you know, pokiness of, since I didn't pull out of a, um, you know, a box that they shipped it back in or something. I mean, I haven't, I just haven't touched it. But I want to show that I'm, I'm impressed with this steel um, and with how this knife held up uh, through the testing. Uh, I'll try to get... Um, let's see how this focuses in. Um, you can see right now that there's some paper towel or something on there, but um, the edge held up really well. Um, I was pretty pretty damn pleased how that um, edge held up. So this is after running Knife Fight and Dead Run. Um, so if you haven't watched uh, the episode yet, you may want to hit pause and go back and watch the episode but um yeah no i made it through uh through night fight and through dead run and uh you know there is some little you know man some real fine chipping you know right in there uh, you know right here in the meat of it where i was beating the crap out of it um so you can see it suffered just a little bit of damage but other than that you know there's and right up here at the very tip there's just a little bitty um spot where it uh, chipped out a little bit but man other than that this thing held up awesome um, I don't know how much on camera like I said I'm filming this before I've seen the episode so this is only this is five days after um, I got home from filming it in Atlanta so I, I don't have a clue what they're gonna show on TV yet so once I release this um, once my episodes aired I might go back and look and be like ah you know but um, Kind of wanted to just show the knife a little bit, give people a kind of a better up close look, and just see the damage. You know, um, really, it's I'm super happy how it held up. I can't complain at all. Um, this is CPM 3V. Uh, I had it heat treated by Peters. Peters heat treated this for me. Um, it is hardened to 60 HRC on the hardness scale. Um, I ground this thing pretty thin. I was trying to show you that. Um, this is like a 3 uh, inch inch bar stock that I cut this out of and then I uh, ground it to it was right around like two thousandths, twenty two thousandths of an inch or so before um, sharpening. I uh, I convexed the edge uh, on my belt grinder um, before the show, stropped it, I did like a 400 grit belt, stropped it on uh, uh, some 600 grit uh, stropping count compound on a leather strop before I went so it was hair popping sharp. I mean it was it was super sharp um, I've got some paper here um, It's it's not gonna be uh, Up down here. It's still you know pretty pretty sharp where um, I didn't quite get into it, but I mean everywhere else. It's eh, right there. You know it, it wants to catch I mean it's it's definitely taking some some damage um, but I don't think it's gonna take much to get it back you know uh, 
I said, I'm hoping this shows up. I'll try to do another shot where I'll maybe hold the knife up against up here uh, against the wall and and move the camera and let the you know knife be stationary. But um, you know, it held up great. Uh, it was a great experience too. I'm gonna do another video once um, once the episode airs. I'm gonna do another video of kind of talking and explaining about maybe uh, the hanging on the episode, how that went, how shooting it went, um, what my thoughts were and some of the challenges and uh, you know more more in depth of actually what happened in the episode this one's just more about the knife you know about the knife that I, I made for the show um, I actually made this for episode or season one um, I, I, I applied for season one didn't get casted um, was lucky enough to get called in season two and so I had this knife already to, ready to go um, uh, so I, I took it is this the best knife to take on Knife for Death? Yeah, probably not. Um, but it, it's what I, I had to work with and, and that's what I, I did. Um, I would have, if, if I was to build one over again, yeah, I would have two handles. I mean, I had, in the episode, it, I made this handle just a little oversized so I could wear gloves and then I can, I can kind of choke up on it and I can get this finger right right here on, on there so I can get like a little bit of a two-handed swing. Um, but yeah, I'd probably make this thing about six to eight inches longer and have two handles um, or, or a handle big enough for two hands. Um, other than that, man, I wouldn't change much else on this design. It was, I thought it worked great. Yeah, it still cut, cut good and, um, you know, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, but, you know, I just want to show the knife a little bit. So guys, hopefully this is a quick look at it. Um, I'll try to do maybe some photos or something so you could, uh, see i don't know if i can get the edge better i'll kind of get out of the way where you can see that but you know just some very minor very minor chipping and kind of uh you know right here is a hair a little bit of a roll maybe i guess right here it's probably where i was beating the crap out of that ice or something i don't know um but you know other than that this thing held up freaking great but Anyways, guys, um, thanks for watching. Trying to keep it short. Um, here it is. I'll, uh, like I said, I'll make another video once uh, once the episode airs in a couple months, um, and then, uh, well, I guess, yeah, once once it airs, I'll I'll uh, put something back out with kind of more uh, what I was thinking at the moment of running the course and things like that. So, thanks for watching, guys. Catch you next time.